Oh! Nope. Pretend, pretend it's normal. All right, fine. We'll look. Dramatic and slow. Oh. I think it's safe to say that this is going to be a good one. If there's a warning that pops up before you start playing. What you're about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion such as fear can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. If after playing this game you experience abnormal happenings around your home or have sudden changes in the behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. Welcome everybody to the Mortuary Assistant. This has been a long time coming. I'm ready for this horror game, so let's go ahead and dive right in. My name is Burrito. I play horror games and I hate puzzles. But if there are puzzles, don't worry, we'll figure it out. It just might take a while. I'm so glad it's almost over. 1998. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job where you are, or...? They actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? <laughs> no. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that. Just be worried people about you. make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right, right. I'm sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So, here. I, I don't know if I want that. It's a pendant. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Just take it. Take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it! Thanks. <laughs> Why'd she grab it all like right. that? Alright, enough spooky stuff. I'm so proud of you. When is all this happening? When do you start? Now. I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. What review? What? Is that like where she gets tested to see if she knows what she's doing? Riverfields Mortuary. I wonder what it would be like working at a mortuary. I imagine you wouldn't have- right. here we go. I imagine you wouldn't have to work with too many people. Alright, so the description for this game reads- Oh wow, it's so red in here. Dear God. Reads, um... Having completed your degree in mortuary services, you've taken on an apprenticeship at Riverfields Mortuary. Over the past several months, you've logged many hours aiding the mortician in daily tasks such as um, learning the ins and outs of the embalming process as well as how to properly handle and care for the deceased. Late one night, we're called into work to handle some embalmings, and death doesn't keep daytime hours. But there is something different about these bodies because there is something different about you. Something different about us. Is it the pendant that we just picked up? I wonder. The phone rings with the mortician on the other end. The rumors are true, and we can't leave. But throw us right in. Okay. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks. Oh, what? Why would they have a painting like this? That just looks creepy. Let's see. Oh, okay. There. So I'm, I'm assuming there's nothing in these things. Oh god, I hope we don't have to deal with some electrical stuff. Here we are. Rebecca. Oh! Great. Perfect timing. Good god, bro. I just finished with Mr. Dalton here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Moving the deceased, use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key. Then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Alright, Mr. Dalton. Cold storage. To bring a body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack. Then move the cart over to it. Gotcha. Uh, okay. 
as well get out and take this out. Do I push it in or gonna go in himself? Oh, okay. Gotta take the gurney out. Gotcha. Sorry, it's my first time here. Oh, hello. Take you with us. Dude, how do you... I'm trying to do this with a controller, and it's not... Too responsive. Maybe I should just switch back to keyboard. Alright, yeah, let's, uh... Actually, no, I don't like this. All right, madam. Taking you, uh... Yeesh. I don't know if I can do this. All Fix right. A... I'm just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks. I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. 87 years old. Dorothy Page, right shoulder. So we gotta look at some markings. Inspecting a body, however the... Cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises. Interact with them to record them to the clipboard. Okay. Yeah, we got a, a stab mark here, I think. Or a mole, one of those. Yeah, no, she looks fine. There. Ah! Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. We'll just leave it leave it closed. I feel like it takes a very specific person to do this kind of job. Just not sure what kind of people actually do this. Although I did have an anthropology teacher, a professor back in the college. And uh, he said he prefers hanging out with the dead over people. Talked about how he used to just drink beers in a room with a skeleton. Thought that was kind of funny, but... Oh, here, oh, what's this? Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Gotcha, gotcha. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. All After right. That, we'll get started. Cool. Can you uh, move? Or are you just going to hover over me while I do this? Yes, that's what you're going to do. Okay, Riverfields Network, how to answer cadaver information. Don't Click the record. Here. What was that? What? I didn't say anything. You all right? E yeah, I'm fine. Sorry. Record system name. Dorothy. Oh, is it not typing? Dor I'm trying to. Oh, okay. Age 87. Contusion on her head, a mole on her right shoulder, blemishes on her right arm. See what that embalming report. We got that. Oh, we gotta press A, otherwise we just put it back down. Alright, bro, now what? He did say put it on the desk. He did say put it on the desk. Alright. I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's on your list there if you need it. This list? All right. Wire jaw shut with needle injectors and setting needles. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. So where are the needles at? Setting needles. Okay. We definitely need that. Pull the manipulator up. Press the injector. Oh, I need an injector. I guess that would make sense to take this then. Needle injector. Well. Oh, I see. Just like this? Ah, okay. Take this and sew it shut. There we go. Now we have to insert the eye caps to keep the eyes shut. Placing the eye caps, use the manipulator to open the eyelid completely. Interact with the eyes. Or interact with the eye to place the cap. Yeah, just yeah, we'll just do it. Okay. Oh, we gotta place the eye caps first, okay. Alright. Mix embalming fluid. I see. We need probably all four of these, right? I can't hold anything else. Ah, it's a one at a time thing, okay. Ah! Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly, and it can make them pop like that. Just keep doing your thing. I'll get it. All right, put this in there. Yeah, you do it. 
Make an incision in the corroded, corroded artery and jugular vein with a scalpel. Okay. Scalpel. Corroded artery. Oops. Is that too much? Some items need to be used directly on the body. To use an item, open quick inventory and select item needed. That's not quick menu. What is it? Here, clipboard? Use the clipboard. Shove the clipboard in there. Oh, forceps to clamp tubing. This guy's very... Just kind of there. Alright, forceps. Oh, tubing. Okay. Oof! Looks gnarly. Oh! So that's how they do this. And so while that's going, engage pump, let the body drain. Turn off pump, remove tubes, close incisions. All right, remove tubes, close that incision. Dude, I'm a pro. Fill an empty IV bag with cavity fluid. Empty IV bag. Is there any of those around here? Uh, let's see. Then insert trocar into the abdomen, abdominal cavity. What the heck was that? See that? I could have sworn something was out the window. Uh, let's see. We're uh, empty. How do I fill the bag? With? I can't use that here. I can't use that here. With what? Let's see. Cavity fluid. Insert the trocar. I can't, I can't use that here. I can't hold anything else. Well then, what do you want me to do? Well, that makes more sense. All right, here's the cavity fluid. Put the thing in. Mix the cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner. Then pour into the embalm, uh, embalming pump. Bathroom closet. Bathroom closet. Okay. Oh wait, no, the bathroom closet was up up uh, front. Oh, we got the tank cleaner mix cleaners. Pour into the embalming fluid. Gotcha. Gotcha. Get the tank cleaner in. Apply moisture to facial features. Oh, I guess I gotta wait for that thing to be done then. Hey. Right. Okay. Nice, nice. Move the wipe across the facial features while holding down interact until the lotion is used up. Gotcha. Ah! Tell you what. What? Dude, what? Why don't the... you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. I did most of the work already, bro. Uh... Are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Sure, bro. Sure. Let's just go. If they say you can go, leave work, just, just leave. It was just really weird. So some stuff fell over. That's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. I'm just really worried. He was supposed to finalize my stuff today. And he said he would, right? <laughs> yeah. So, that's a good thing. Yeah, it just didn't feel like he meant it. Like, like he just said it to get me out of the building. Uh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Uh, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. I'm just not feeling too well. Okay. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Of your onboarding. We're all 
set. And your new badge is in your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. If I'm not Bye. dead. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. See? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Isn't it like midnight or something? Why would you go out Where already? Where are my keys? Personally, if work called me in to come in at the buttfuck of midnight, I'd be like, no. Especially if I just started, like, just started? Hell no, bro. I'd quit. Temporary items do not take space in your normal inventory. Because that's just them learning to take advantage of you. And, of course, here we are. Well, time to face the music. Time to get the work done. Started. We'll leave that open. What's with the huh? Ah! Bro, I left this open. Why'd you close it? And he knows the, the phone number? What's this, Rebecca? Oh. Hi, Rebecca. <sighs> Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. We know you're scared. I'll unlock the door in a moment. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start. What did you do? I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. What the fudge? I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine, so we stay calm, okay? We embalm, file the paperwork, everything. Treat it like a normal day. Staying focused will help. I left some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? This is insane. Dear God. some hazing for the new girl or something just just play along so we're immediately locked in he he tricked us he tricked us into coming here but he's it seems like he's also got a good reason i wonder what that reason is but me i would leave i'd be like no i'm out i already i already have one of those cleaner what's this that's not it. So, of course, we got to put something here. All right. Nope, we're going to leave that on. I don't care if they have to pay for electricity. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Who does something like this? Who does it? That's what I'm saying. All right, listen carefully. I'm, look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional if this is how you treat new hires i don't think i can work for you this isn't funny rebecca you don't have to believe me but i hope you do before it's too late the only way to save yourself is to banish the demon before you're too far gone to do that you will need to learn the demon's name bind it to its chosen body and burn it in the retort uh. look i know this is a lot to take in i wish i could do more for you i had you to learn what I know. You have hours. <sighs> I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. I'm gonna burn the wrong one. The most important thing in the room is in that cabinet. Insane. Whatever. Just get the professional one, grab 
grab a body and get started. Nah, I'm breaking open a window. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm leaving. Process. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you, weakening you until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way what? I've found to Screw tell this. how far along the possession the is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Whoops. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk in the front room. Checking from time to time can give an idea of how long you might have. The Night Shift Database. A computer program combining all my findings into one reference point. The database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. If you ever forget what to do, Play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the passcode to access it. Use it. Whatever. Just grab a body and get started. Okay. Here we go. You know what? Screw this. I'm calling the police. I can keep track of things. Oops. Oh, this is our reagent in the old cabinet. Treat it like a normal day. Here's everything that we need in this cat in these cabinets. So this seems like it's going to um, take a lot more than simply just walking around waiting for things to pop out. I gotta pretend that I'm uh, working. Which I, I do on a regular basis, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but where's that notepad? How far... Oh, one's slipped into possessions? Uh, using the inventory? What does this say? Okay. I mean, what happens if we just hang out here and... Well, that doesn't break. All right, time to get to the bodies. Just treat it like a normal day. We're fine. Um, Nicole, Fabiola, Jed. These bodies have been taken care of. So we have to choose between one, two, or three. And hopefully it's the right body. Hopefully it's the right body and um, we figure out the name of the demon. And then we can incinerate. Otherwise, we get possessed. Retrieving a body. Okay. Crummy old building. Yeah, we'll call it that. Lock me in here. Scare the shit out of me. I guess we'll start with Nicole. Oops, no, that's. I'll figure out these controls soon. How do you? Come on out. Come on. This is the hardest part. Trying to take the bodies out. Oh, I see. My whole time here is going to be spent trying to figure out these controls. There you go. Gotta get in close, I guess. Alright. Let's embalm these bodies. Alright, so the first thing we have to do is inspect the body, right? Look for markings. Anything. I see a bite here on... or something on the back. Okay! That's what I'm saying. It's, they closed the door too. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. Get right back to work. Exactly. I'm a. So stupid. No ghosts will scare me. All right. So now we have to input everything into the system. It's night shift. System is only for River 
fields, morticians with access to rights, please enter your shift code. Okay, we, we don't know that, so. Wait, what's this? Start? Oh, okay. Nicole Soto, 21. Head got, got a mild abrasion there. Keratosis on the right shoulder, blemishes on the right arm. Heman. Hemangioma on the left leg and a mole on the left arm. Oh, that's the right leg. Left arm. Left arm. Am I not putting this in right? Right shoulder, keratosis, right arm, blemishes. Left leg. That is. And that's everything, right? Nothing on the right leg and nothing on the left shoulder. Didn't the dude say there was a code somewhere on his ID in his personal I drawer? I need to file the copy up front. Let's see here. Embalming report. Embalm. Can we put that in? Where's the personal drawers at? They keep talking about like personal drawers and stuff, but I don't see anything personal. Wire jaw shut, injectors, and setting things. There we go. Maybe if we do this fast enough, the ghost won't possess us. Or the demon. This is almost like demonologist, where you have to like discover the, the entity. Mix the embalming fluid. fluid Fluorental hide. Okay, so... Got that. Yes? Hello? One second. On the way. Coming. Yes? Hello? Anybody there? No? Huh. Oh, what's this one over here? I had no idea there was a... Uh... That there, I wonder what's down there. Can't we just hop in the car? Let's hop up in our whip and just dip. All right, hop, hop back to it then. Only way out is through. Uh, cleaner base. We don't need that yet. All right, let's turn that off. That sound is annoying. We just need glue to wherever that is. Oh, found it. Nice. It's the old cap reagent. Ah, oh, 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 I found it. Full axis 92970. This database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of covetous demons. The history of the demonic and the tools I've used are found through my research. Years of travel and piecing together whatever relics remain have been compiled here. The navigation bar at the top right leads to the following subsections. History, identifying demonic tenet, tenas, tenet, tenancy, sigils of demonic names, tools to combat demonic forces, path to banishment, embalm each body with special reagent from the cabinet, use letting strips from the cabinet to attempt to reveal the demonic sigils compare the found demonic sigils to the demon's name with the night shift database build the mark to match the demon's name pay attention to the body for demonic activity note that each or note that bringing an already embalmed body back out to reinspect for changes may be necessary place the mark on the body believed to have demonic uh, tendency burn that body in the retort before possession takes hold this is a slow computer. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. That's what she said. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but... Scrawny. I think you were right. 
This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. Oh. There it is. Fuck. Fuck! Yeah, no, that's appropriate. What's, what is, uh, what is this section? Invidious Desolation. Tools, okay. Yummy. Yeah, me. Who, is, who needs help? I mean, somebody said they needed help, but I don't know, uh... Oh, that's right. Personal drawers. We're looking for... What is this? Oh, no, come back, come back. What is that? Large old key. Rebecca, Raymond asked me to take over restocking uh, the rest of the supplies in the embalming room, but he's so secretive. I feel like I get different instructions every day. Sorry if it's not what you're used to. Did you ask him to stop calling me Zoe? No one calls me that. Raymond, I really need the key to the hatch outside. Cleaner is low. You mentioned having some down there before. I know you don't trust anyone to go down there, but having a copy of the key would make things a lot easier. Zoe. Is that key? Can I take that? Oh, what if we use the old key to go down there? Maybe the old key will work. I can't use that here. I can't, I can't use that here. Nope, I guess not. Uh, let's try to open up this then. Ah. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. I'm totally failing. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They could be anywhere. So look on walls, under objects, Inside furniture. Anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the sigils. Build the mark and place it on the body. Then, when you're certain, This is a lot. This is a lot. All right, make an uh, incision. Got, got it. Got to get the scap scalpel. Thought I heard somebody crying. Kind of freaked me out. Forceps tubing. Right. And engage the pump. Let it drain. Turn it off. IV bag. Take this out. Look at me. I'm, I'm doing things. Zip that closed. Now let's handle this part. There you go.
I wonder how accurate this is. Like, is this actually what they have to do? I mean, it seems accurate. I have no reference, but I wonder if real morticians ever played this game. If any of them ever played this game and said, hey. There we go. This is pretty accurate. Mix the cleaners in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming pump. Uh, I don't know if I want to help you, lady. You shouldn't be here. Don't you know? Let's just go about my day. Uh, I'm gonna go about my day. Not gonna bother. Okay, fine. Let's look. Oh, what's this? Small photo, 1970, the arrival of the house of death, birth of its creator, full number shall be six. Oh, what's this? Can we inspect it better? The year of... Oh, it's the... Okay. She's gone. Okay. And somebody closed this. How could you? After we wipe the face down, return the body. Well, I hope you had a good one. Thank you for hanging out with me during this embalming process. Hope you give me a five-star rating. There we go. Look at us. Making moves. I wonder if being a mortician messes with people mentally. Because I imagine you would have to, you know, mentally desensitize yourself to the entire situation working with dead bodies. Oh, we got scratch marks? Claw marks? Looks like claw marks almost. Rotate this. Anything here? Nothing there. Cool. But we do have. There we go. That is. I think that's everything. Of course, we put her in. All right. Entry two. Fabiola Reyes. Thirty-one. Head's got a mole. Oh, uh, left leg has blemishes. Right leg has abrasion. Left arm. Nothing. Right arm has keratolysis. So does the left shoulder. Submit. Oh, I'm missing something? Oh, I missed this. Right arm. There we go. Okay, needle injectors. Let's do this. Mouth shut. Is it me or is... Are things kind of changing? I feel like the entire tone, the color of the entire game just shifted to a little bit of a bluer hue. I wonder who put all these chemicals, uh, who put all these chemicals together and we're like, hey, this works. And then I think we need the tubing, the PVC stuff, as well as this. Oh, no, no, no. We need to make an incision in the corroded artery for the scalpel. So zip that open. Chokar. Oh, no, we need forceps. Come on, bro. We've done this more than enough times by now. Drain the body. <laughs> IV bag. Take care of this section. Rebecca, come here. Come here now. Uh, why not? Mom. Junkie. You stupid bitch. Whoa. Hate me all you want. He's dead because of you. You should be the one. Okay, whoa, what? Hey. I, I can't use that here. Ah! 
Well, that got me good. I wasn't expecting that. All right. Um, what was it? Circle? Circle, circle, dot, dot. So part of me is just like, okay, I want to ignore everything that's going on. But the other part of me is like, dude, if I ignore everything, there's no horror game. There's nothing scary. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure things would be scary, but... Because that gives us a little bit of insight into her, her parents. All right. Got you. Thank you for choosing Riverfield's Mortuary as your number one choice in mortuary um, to, uh, care. All right, last one. Let's go, bro. You and me, dude. I gotta say, this is interesting. I've never played a horror game like this. I mean, I haven't played many to begin with, but still. Rotate that. Something on the back. Ooh, whoa. Got this, this, and an upside down cross. Would you take a look at this? Would you look at this? This has got to be the body. He's got to be the one, right? There we go. And he's got this sigil. He's got an upside down cross and the trigram. Is that what that is? So, number three. We have Jed, age 33. His head's got a mole, right shoulder, blemishes with a mole, right arm, keratolysis, basil, covos. Okay, so these are the names, the different names, but do these... Because I need, I need something that shows me what to do with the marks. Oh, oh, something's happening, something's happening. Hello. Oh, that's right. I have to take this. We'll figure out that sigil stuff soon. Show me your pearly whites, bro. Oh, reagent. That's right. We're definitely going to need to get this for that guy. Since he's got the marks. Although I'm pretty sure all of them need to have it, so... Forceps and something else. I'm missing oh, something. Pipes. PVC pipes. Look at me trying to do this all quick, like. Troll car, we got the troll car. Trademarks. Please don't. Oh! 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 What? Huh? Huh? Who are you? Hey, tell me your name, bro. I have a tactic. Just turn everything into a joke. Everything is less scary. Oops, we don't need that. Oh, what the heck? Look at this. But can I remember this? The three... Three upside down crosses and a hook? Yeah. Triangle upside down crosses and a hook. So difficult for little Missing, with, missing what? What are we missing? Can we pick it up and. I can't use. I can't. I can't. I can't use that here. Let me in. What are we missing? What do I have to do? Oh. I killed him. You threw away his love with your selfish sin. In his final moments, he regretted you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What a familiar voice. 
be more comforting. <laughs> Just let me go, Rebecca. No! It won't be over. No means no! <laughs> so this, the guy who, the guy who hired us said he's been doing this for years. What a terrible life to live. Constantly fighting demons. Let's clean it. Do I have, oh! Hey! Hey! Get back over here! You gotta come back here, bro. I'm trying to do things to your body. In a completely platonic way, of course. Oh, he was here the whole time. Can we just burn this body? Like right now? It had the, the symbols on it. Oh, but what if it's not bound yet? That might be the issue. So. Uh, what do we remember? Absolutely nothing. Oh, he had an upside down cross and that triangle thing. I wish this wasn't so, uh... Sigils of demonic names or identifying. Maybe we should try identifying first. Watch this. Alright. This working? I think we just saw this. Yeah. This thing is huge. We just saw it. When a demonic entity is present, the vessel it is occupying may form markings not previously observed. Inspecting a body additional times is important. Spotting these. Appearance of a new mark, sudden movement, or large, large, small repeat movements. Let's see. Do, do, do. While learning the name is more about waiting, identifying which body is experiencing demonic tendency requires paying close attention. While any of the bodies can be manipulated, it's far easier for the entity to control its own vessel. Sudden movements, large or small, can be a sign of tendency. If a body appears to be more active than others... Uh, sorry, okay, so we read all this already. The question is, what do I do with... Collection of demonic history? What's quarter letting? The lesser spirits. Is this going to help us? Men white, the shadow man. The Mimic. Oh. Recovered language. Okay. I don't want to say any of these names out loud. In case I might summon something in my own house. This is not too direct or forward or helpful. Unless I'm just, like, misunderstanding everything. Where? Hey ho! That's skin crawling. Are you just gonna stand there? Not right now, I don't. Well, here, let me open the door for you. Okay, okay. To visit you. Don't you miss me? I bought you something. Grandma? No. I thought maybe you could slit your wrist for me. Just no. a little cut. No, 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 no. Oh, what's wrong, Rebecca? <laughs> it's obvious it's not my grandma, so. It's a <laughs> Obviously not my grandmother. I tried moving and backing away and everything. It wasn't letting it happen. All right, so here's the thing. Like, what do I do now? I discovered... Can I just... Can I inspect the bodies here? Or do I have to take it all the way back? Okay, embalm each body... Use the letting strips from the cabinets. Reveal demonic sigils. Oh, okay. That makes more sense, kind of. Let's try this body first. Oh! What the... F well, that didn't show me anything. 
What the? What? Oh, okay. I gotta keep... I gotta look... He, I remember him saying we gotta look around. So this is gonna be seven with a zero at the tip. Just the tip. Okay, we've got a few here. Seven with a zero. Reverse J. I wonder if positions matter. Oh! He's not going to expect me to run up on him. So that's what I'm going to do. Be gone, foul demon! Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. I thought something burned here. No? So... Alright, so we're going to walk around with this strip. Try to find another... Okay, okay, getting closer. 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 Was it in here? Ah! No! Alright, so there has to be a sigil somewhere around here now, right? I can't really hear too- or I can't see too well with the door open. Ah, okay, uh, Z. Yeah, I think it was definitely back in that- Oh! Did you see that? There was a face right there, bro. It's gotta be here, because... This is where the other strip burned. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's on him. I'm so stupid. God, don't have me restart. What's with the music? Why is it ramping up? Dude. Dude, I'm just gonna stand over here, bro. What's with the music? What's with the music? Dude. Screw it, let's just pick something. Now what? Now what? Now what do I do with this? Ah! Screw it. Let's go. Am I? Is it actually him? Screw it. We're out of time. Let's go. Ah! Ah! I don't know if that means it's a good thing or a bad thing. Come on, turn around faster! Slide on in. Have a nice day. Hello? Can I just burn all the bodies? That's a good sign for us, right? Right? We that means we got him. Good morning. It's nice not to be the one down there for a change. Uh, Raymond? Uh, I suppose a first name basis is in order. D did I make it? Is it over? For now. It's never really over. You've come a long way. It's a lot to learn. I'm so glad I'm here. I know it's disorienting. You'll get used to it. You should head home and get some rest. Every night can be different. I think I'm fine. Are you sure? You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting. What the? For so, so long. What are you? Oh no, we chose the wrong demon. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot. He does not seem to be freaking out. Oh! 
Alright, you guys know I have to run it back again because now I have a better idea of uh, what's going on, what to do. I think the process is check, inspect the body, input it into the computer, bring it up to the front, and start embalming the body. Left arm, we got a blemish. Right leg's got... I can never say that word. Oh, someone is over there. I, I can see somebody standing over there. Not standing. Somebody hung. Is that okay to put on YouTube? What if we just ignore it? Oh, we gotta face the music. Okay. Huh. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I forgot where to get this key from. Oh, it's already open. Never mind. Um. Oh boy, okay. Oh, oh. There we go. There's the moisturizing. This body seemed relatively normal. Sometimes in the right shade it looks like it's still their eyes are still open. Still open. Nope. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Just turn this back on. Nothing happened. It's all good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Why are the jaws shut? There she got go. nasty teeth. Oh, I hear somebody. Pretend everything's normal. I'm Oops. missing something. Tubing. And now we can run the body. So, set that closed. Hold anything else. I wonder what this actually does, though. And nope. Pretend. Pretend it's normal. All right, fine. We'll look. Dramatic and slow. Oh. Oh, whoa! That I did not expect. I thought it was just gonna slip away and that was it. Whoa. EST 44. <gasps> Who's this? It's a lot of blood. What are you doing here? What? Oh. All right. Fill in empty. Do the troll car thingy. Okay. That was weird. Yes. This one seems like a good contender. A little more activity on this one, but still. We have to check the third one. Nothing there. Uh, okay. What's next? What horrible things are you about to show me? Come now, I'm prepared. Wait. I take the support back over here. And let's begin. Guys, I wonder what these apps do. All right. Well, it says moisturizing. I'm, I'm assuming it keeps it moisturized. Mix the embalming fluid. Oh! 
Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, that got me good. A lot of these are getting me. Oh! What was that? Moisturizer. Is there a way to turn on the light here? Oh, where's the, oh, I remember. Here we go. I feel like this might be the one. This guy's so, uh, there's a, there was a lot happening. Hello? What are you, okay. There's a lot happening with this guy. That or it's because I'm already like, a little bit deep in. Okay. So now that I've done that, oh, we've done this already. Okay. Now we have to get these. She's gonna talk to me the whole time. Okay. Don't you miss me? We've done this already. I bought you some. I saw you in the first shift. Uh, uh. Alright, I think we gotta do the letting strips now. Uh, uh, Q, Q. Oh, okay, so something here. Something here. There was something here. Where is it? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, oh, getting closer. A little hook. Kind of looks like an H. This way? Oh, no, nope, this way. In here? <laughs> Something, okay, we found a little hook with two dots, two circles. Little dot, two circles. Uh, oh! Ooh, that guy's so creepy. All right, last one, last one. Oh, oh, we're getting it. Uh, this way? Okay, something here. Was it? It's on this body, probably. Okay, that's probably what that meant. The power of Christ and me, the mortuary assistant, shall compel you. What? Hello? Oh! I'm beating you to it. Where'd she go? Checking it. What? What? People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. No one's involving any ghost bodies or whatever. Did I miss something here? Oh, it's right here. Nine. Rebecca. Yes. Coming. Oh. Oh. Ah! Got me. He got me. Oh, maybe I have to figure these out. Bomb it. I think this was the one, right? Vomit? So now that I... Because that's what, what shows up on... Right? Oh, God. Come on, finish turning around. Got the hook. 
Got the T with the two dots, hook with the two dots, and a nine. Two dots, two dots, hook with a little slash, and then a nine. Right? Yeah, so it's bomb it. Right? So now that I know his name, I just have to figure out which body it is. And I think it's this one because she had the little slash thing on her arm. Oh, let me put this here. Goodbye. <laughs> Beat the game in under 45 minutes. You would have thought he would, uh, she would have learned the first time. We're okay. We got it this time. I'm confident. I'm like 95% sure. What are you? What oh, the no. fuck? I really thought I had it. Demon. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I don't know. I, I thought I really had it too. 